For us old-fashioned Europeans, California is the incarnation of high-tech and innovation. You are the opposite. You are refusing the cell phone, you don't like to communicate via mail. Instead, I get beautifully handwritten faxes and letters from you. Despite that, you are extremely well informed about all kinds of evolution in the vineyards. You are state-of-the-art and you are very knowledgeable about traditional winemaking. You really know what's going on in the wine world. Where is the communication of wine heading to? Will the Internet be the future? You know, this is the, uh, the puzzling thing. There's no question in my mind for young people who are just learning about wine, mm -hmm. if they can get their information like they do about everything else in their mm -hmm. lives from the Internet, that's a fantastic thing. Whether we can make the previous generation that found wines a tactile thing, they wanted to touch the bottles, they wanted to see the bottles, they mm -hmm. wanted to smell the wine, mm -hmm. they wanted to interact directly mm -hmm. with the person that they most trusted to recommend the best bottles for them. Whether we can get them to think in that way, I don't know. That's like getting me to, uh, you know, once I learned the facts, I thought I was done. <laughs> and it uh, turns out there's been a lot of technology that's come to pass since, uh, since that. But I really think that if we can do this internet thing right, not making it too simple, you know, where you can yeah. just punch on and get yeah. a recommendation, because yeah. I hate the concept of simplicity in choosing fine wine or understanding fine wine. That's the big problem with the critics in the world that give the numerical scores. If people think right. that a wine today and tomorrow is the same thing, yeah. you know, not my wines. Mm -hmm. My wines are, are very, very, very different. They change mm -hmm. all the time. So mm -hmm. I really think that uh, um, if we can get the complexity of wine, the multiplicity of wine, the various wine experiences that we all are looking for, and, and if we can get the internet set up in a way to share that with, with people, then I think that'll be fantastic. And that'll definitely be the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, communication is becoming easier and faster, but also more complex. Jim, on one hand, wine in general is overall available and becoming an industrial processed and mass compatible beverage of pretty boring attitude. On the other hand, I see a promising trend towards more individuality, freshness, finesse and drinkability, thanks to less making and better growing. Where do you see the market going in future? Martin, if we could get people to be moral about anything mm -hmm. in their lives, then uh, maybe we could um, have more faithful husbands. Maybe we could have more <laughs> faithful wives, long-lived relationships. Yeah, in, the case, in the case of wine, it is so unimaginable that people would confuse corporate, cookie-cutter garbage made for profitability and nothing else. They don't care about the health of their workers. Yeah. They don't care about the health of their consumers. They don't care about their own health. I drink more of my wine than anyone else is going to drink. If I don't care about my own health, chemical-free farming, yeah, yeah. having an approach to yeah. natural winemaking that doesn't involve manipulation or pseudoscience, as much as the internet might be the right science, the spinning cone and the reverse osmosis machine and the concentration machine are pseudoscience in the world of wine. Right. It can make you think something is better. It can't make something better. We're in the best time in the history of the world for having healthful, sensitive, concerned winemakers making wines that will satisfy those needs in, 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 in a concerned and well-educated customer base. Right. And right. if we can't get them to understand that through proper um, publication of what we do, communication, you know, communication right. more, yeah. more than anything, yeah. then I don't know what we can do. Because mm -hmm. if we can't, I can't survive if people have no moral judgment to be made between what I'm doing and right. what Gallo's right. doing. If Gallo becomes more green than me, then I'll look to them for direction. But currently, the corporate world in making wine, they can beat us on price, they can beat right. us on availability, right. Right. they can be everywhere and everything to all people unless the real question is asked about the direction of their winemaking and their farming. Therefore, we are working together since 20 years. Let's have a good glass of wine. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers. Man.